I'm learning every day. So my question is about safety. Do you use VPN? Um, I had an issue receiving a verification codes. They said that they actually say safer not to use VPN. Thanks. Yeah, just use VPNs if you live in the uh, United States and stuff like that, um, because you know it's 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 rough, uh, especially if you're using you know, if you're using other IDs like the the digital IDs like this. It is uh, very very uh, difficult, right, to to deal with um, with uh, exchanges as an American or from UK. Um, or Nigeria now as well. Um, and it will come to every country. So don't think just because you don't live in those countries that they're not going to come and say, well, wait a second here. Wait a second here. We don't like this crypto thing <laughs> either. <laughs> I mean, they all print money. So obviously they're going to, they're going to come to that conclusion eventually. Right? So why... Why um, put yourself into a situation where um, you, you are limited in options? Which browser is safest? Um, well, um, it's difficult. Uh, I would say, obviously, Brave is one of the good ones. Same with the, all, all the other third-party ones that are not connected with major corporations. But then again, their safety is is always predicated on the, the government not coming to their door and saying, change this, right? Um, and give a, give me all the people's money, right? So that's the problem. And because they auto update, right? Um, you should really turn off the updates, right? Uh, the auto updates on all your browsers so that um, if things get really, really out of hand, they will, they will go to every single corporation they can possibly go to to actually say hey put this inject code doing code injections meaning to to take everything you got from your computer and you know we have to consider that the um, the world economic forum said uh, that there is going to be um a cyber attack coming right so that's probably what they're planning and they're going to call it a cyber attack right they're probably going to do it if not they are, if they haven't already done it already. So the best thing for you to do, right, is a turn off updates. Probably right now. Actually, you know what? Now I'm now that, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm going to turn off updates because I haven't done that yet. I'm going to turn off updates on everything, right, everywhere that I have uh, equipment and uh, only manually do updates because I'm just thinking, wait a second here, if they've already talked about the cyber attack coming and it's obviously going to be coming from them the best way for them to do that is to actually inject code malicious code into everybody's computer are you doing a podcast with peter schiff well yeah i am i am going to be doing a, a podcast on mr m's channel if you head over to mr m's podcast i will be doing that show with him uh, next week on the fourth so we'll try to do that live maybe here in our um in our private group i don't know We'll see. Or we'll charge for that. I don't know. We'll charge for that live um, access to see how we do the podcast live. What uh, entry price for ETH TA? Thanks. Right now, we're in a danger zone area here with with uh, Ethereum. Like, just look at this, this weekly candles. I mean, come on. You are asking for trouble, right? If you don't do a little bit of um, short-term TA. And that requires us to go down to the shorter term and do short term trades and see if one of them takes us to the promised land, right? And that's, that's all it is. And so that's what we're waiting for. All right. Well, thanks for your questions, guys. I will leave you and talk to you tomorrow.